Black Power Station came at the right time uh, in, in Makanda because, you know, the, the music scene in, the, in, in, in this town was sort of dying out. Um, there are not so many places where people can come in and do their performances and express themselves in the way that they want to express themselves. Um, it's always limited, you know, you get to uh, uh, places where maybe it's just a hotel, you can only play a certain kind of music or... Uh, so um, the Black Power Station sort of came in and became that place where one can go in and, you know, do anything, you know, if you're creative, you can just go wild and create whatever that you wanted to, to create. And that's what I think the town needed. I mean, Makanda is sort of known as like a creative city, and yet that part is sort of dying out. Nothing much is happening in the town. Uh, uh, along those lines. So I, I think that, you know, um, having a place such as this has helped, you know, it's actually it's helping. It's, 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 it's bringing that kind of vibe back. It's a hub for all creatives. It's actually a sanctuary. It's a place where creatives can come and let their juices flow. It's a beautiful environment. Uh, away from the hustle and bustle of the city uh, is where the creatives, as I've said, can get the, the, their juices flowing in terms of creativity and all that. Yeah, the Black Power Station is a place I call home, a place for intellectuals, creatives, and those who seek a place to cool down after daily noise of the city, a place where young and old can meet and share meaningful conversations, that to empower themselves. I mean, this is a place where you can enjoy food and live music at the same time and the creativity that is brought to you. Beyond, you know, like the daily life, this is the life space that you can have in the city. It's also shedding a light on, 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 on Grahamstown because uh, artists from outside have heard about the place and they're always interested in coming down and doing something in this space, uh, you know. And so that also just, you know, helps bringing in other people who may not have come down to Grahamstown if it wasn't that the place like this existed. So it's opening the town up you know, for other possibilities. And uh, that's what the town needs. We need that kind of movement, people coming in and out uh, uh, of the space and creating more other things that, um, you know, build or, or add in the building of the town. In terms of contribution to Makanda and Sarah Batman as a whole, the way I envision it, from since I came to uh, Sarabadman as a district, is that this space can have immense contribution to Sarabadman and in fact, to the whole province and to the country, uh, if given a chance in terms of funding and support. Because the creative space is another leg that uh, government can utilize as an employment venture. Uh, in light of the fact that there are no jobs. As much as this space is mostly appreciated by young people, but it embraces all ages and all types of people from all walks of life. So it is a place where, uh, given a chance, 
creatives can get their craft to develop, um, to be more sophisticated, so to speak, to compete in the world markets and to generate income out of what they would have produced from this space. So To me, this is a business that I formed in the principle of Ubuntu, uh, with an idea to build an ecosystem where businessmen and artists can coexist to form a relationship that could create a livelihood for the city of Makanda, even beyond the borders of Africa. You know, that's the intention of the business, so that it can, the, the, the creative economy can exist from nine to five for 24 hours. That's the intention. That's why this ecosystem is a very important when you meet the funder or the businessman to coexist with an artist to actually uplift each other. So that's the principle of Ubuntu because I think sometimes we need to elaborate what is Ubuntu. But in this sense, we mean the coexistence, the ecosystem between the businessman and the artist both of these people are business people, but when they coexist, they're able to create a job creation, they're able to sustain the economy of Makanda, the economy of the province, the economy of the world that circulates among these people without this idea that art is just a mere extramural activity that has nothing to do with business. I think that the Black Power Station is already uh, uh, in the right direction. Um, there's a lot that uh, uh, the space offers. You know, if you're an academic, there's something for you there. You know, the teaming up with the, you know, with us at, at Rose University at ILM, we're working with the Black Power Station, the University of uh, Virginia, they, they are working with the Black Power Station you know, on an academic kind of uh, level. And um, creatively, uh, they're already opening up the space to do quite a different, a lot of uh, different things. I mean, if you want to exhibit pictures or art, that's the place you can come in and do that. If you want to see, of course, that's the place for you. If you want to do poetry or speak about whatever, launch a book, you can come in there. So the place is already versatile in, in, uh, and, and, and it allows for other uh, opportunities. If the, the Black Power Station were to get a bigger space, sort of to, um, to be able to accommodate and embrace all these forms of creativity and also to display, because displaying is, is most vital for, 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 for people visiting even the this space so that they can see and have a picture of over time this is what has been done by the black power station these are the people that the black power station has interacted with at this moment that space is limited so to improve is to get the space to get um, resources in terms of not only just finance but resources that would make it to be an art center, so to speak, and human resource as well, so that functionality can be at the level of a formalized art center. I'm, I'm involved with the Black Power Station uh, personally, and also uh, 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 from my work that we are doing at Rhodes. And, um, Personally, I've, I've always, you know, been a supporter of uh, what X is doing and, you know, doing for the community. And, uh, you know, it started when it was still Fingo, you were still doing Fingo Fest and all that. I've always been there in the background assisting if he needs 
piece of equipment that I have, I would avail that, uh, uh, um, you know. And so uh, if he needed an idea or, or an advice on whatever, that's also something that I've always been doing. And, you know, luckily my workplace, ILM, you know, where we, we, we also interact a lot with the Black Power Station. So in different ways, we, you know, try and contribute whatever we can um, towards the space. So uh, it may not be financially, you know, just to, 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 to donate a book, you know, bring a speaker when the speaker is needed or whatever, microphone, things like that. You know, uh, we, we do those kind of things because we see that uh, this place, the potential the place has and what it's doing for the for the Grahamstown community or Makanda community. And so we want to be part of that and we want to be able to assist in whatever way that uh, we can assist in. Uh, the Black Power Station, if it were to be supported by financial resources, uh, because the, the, the idea is there, you can see it even as you enter the space, that the vision is there to, uh, and you see what the Black Power Station seeks to do and seeks to provide for the creatives and if, in fact the people of this area. Uh, but the financial resources are, are a constraint. As well, human resource. It is not possible to amass human resources in a space when you cannot afford to show appreciation for them in terms of remuneration. So there needs to be financial resource so that people who come here uh, are not only working on a voluntary basis. Uh, it, uh, that thing has long been done away with, even internationally. Volunteering work is paid for because it's your time, it's your effort, it's your... Sometimes you produce things which are your brainchild in a space like this. So you need to be appreciated for that. So those are the main things I see uh, that can make the Black Box Station grow beyond what it is. We've been working on this journey for 10 years. Um, so this is a testimony to the hard work we've been putting as a Black Power Station. And we feel it's time now to invite you to be part of this journey to the next level. As an investor, friend, ambassador, lover of the arts, to make this a possibility beyond what it has become. I think the next 10 years is what we need you to witness with us. This kind of place, you need to come here and see what happens here because I think when you start seeing what is going on here, it, it will, you know, it's one of those places that will just catch you and you'll not let go, you know, and nobody will be telling you come back again here because, you know, like I was saying, they do so many different kind of things. And so there will be something that, you know, uh, resonates with you when, when you come into the space. But I think my advice is, visit the space, come in when there's some kind of an event, come in if, if there's nothing happening, come in and see the place and see what they're doing, you know, and I think from there, um, you, you there's nobody who will be saying, please come, you'll just come on your own because it's got that thing uh, uh, that attracts people, yes. <laughs>